Hello, I am Tamala Buttry, and I am the English Language um, Coordinator for Round County Schools. Sometimes it's referred to EL. And the tutors that work with your um, students on English are um, Miss Vanessa and Miss Joyce, and they've been working um, as EL tutors for several years. Their job is to help our students become proficient in English. So at the beginning of the first time you enroll your child in Round County School, um, we screen them to see if they might need, uh, qualify for services to help them reach proficiency in English. And if they do qualify, then we set up a PSP meeting um, and we invite you and the child's teacher and either Miss Vanessa or Miss Joyce and the school counselor to meet and then develop a program service plan for your child. Then um, they go out and work with um, Joyce and Vanessa go out and work with your child in their school. And then in January, all of our students who receive English Learner Services take the state access test and in that test, they are trying to determine if over the past year, if your child has become English proficient in the areas of listening, speaking, reading, and writing. So one part of the um, EL program is to provide parents with resources to help their child at home with English proficiency. So today I'm going to share a website that I found that has um, English games to learn vocabularies and sentences, numbers, letters, and um, just lots of resources and activities that you can do with your child at home. So I am going to show you that this is the website and it is called Games to Learn English. So um, right up here at the top, you can see games to learn English.com. When you open the page, you'll see all of these games listed. Um, there's a, there's several of them and they help um, your students develop questions, read sentences, um, spell words, work on time and numbers. So we're going to look at some of these today and um, hopefully you'll find ones that will be great for you to um, integrate at home. So let's look at monster vocabulary. And I'm not going to go through all of them, but I wanted to just share a few. So let's start this one. And we're going to play. Policeman. So this one is about a jobs. And so we see here is someone like probably a bus driver or um, and then this one is a mechanic, and here's our policeman. So we would click on that to match the word policeman. Driver. Oh, and here we need a driver. It might be a taxi driver, bus driver, or Uber driver. Um, so we're going to click on the driver. Politician. Politician. So that is usually someone who is standing at a podium and speaking about government. Musician. Musician. I know that this is a musician because he's playing a guitar and there's musical notes. So you can see that in this um, activity there are 30 questions and you can continue um, all the way to the end or you could just practice a few with your child. It's up to you. So we'll go back to games and we'll look at some others. Um, we've got a word search, Fast English. This is a great one also. Um, you can do it fast or you can do it slow or you can do a review. And I'm not so much worried about um, children doing it fast as rather than doing it correctly. So we're going to try the slow version. You can pick any of these categories. Um, if you have a, a child that is in lower elementary and are still learning letters, then this might be a good choice. In. The um, speaker has said the letter is in, so I would look at this letter and I could match it to this. So I've listened. I could even 
You could have your child repeat that letter in so that they're working on the speaking. I'm using my reading skills to match. And the only thing I'm not doing is writing, but you could have your child write letters on paper so that they're practicing that skill as well. Because when they take that access test, they're going to be um, you know, assessed in all four of those areas. T. T. Okay, I know this is a T, but I'm going to choose D instead just to see what happens. So it eliminated that one and another one, so I can try again. So I'm going to choose P this time. Okay, it eliminated P and S. So then I'm going to choose T. I've got that. D. It's keeping up with my score. I probably didn't get as many points as I could have if I got it correctly. Um, there are 68 different um, questions on this little game, and we're not going to continue with those. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back in here again, just so that we can look at some more of those categories. So if your child um, is not familiar with stationery, stationery are all the supplies that you use um, in an office or is it at school. So that might be one. If they're still working on numbers, um, identifying numerals and matching them to number words. We've got colors, we've got jobs, we've got clothing and food. So you get to choose which one you want them to practice. Okay, we'll go back to games and scroll on down. <clears throat> um, this one is practicing verb tense, like what is the best verb for that image? And this one is doing past tense and we've got prepositions, which this one would be over, under, on, between. Those are all prepositions. And we're going to look at questions. So we're, I'm going to start with easy. All right, so in this picture, we see a gentleman, and he is asking a question to the young lady in the picture. And there's a bicycle, and we we see that it says something color is the bike. So we have these choices of how, how color is the bike, what color is the bike, who color is the bike, when color is the bike, and where color is the bike. So you could have your child read each one of those so that they are listening to themselves and they can see if that or hear if that sounds correct, if it makes sense. So we would choose what color is the bike to make this question. What color is the bike? Now the young lady has to answer the question. So $80 is not a color. It is white is a color. And we want to read all of our choices to make sure we are choosing the correct one. She is is not a color. So I'm going to choose it is white. It is white. Okay. And so we have some more W question words. Which, where, when, who, what, um, how, and why are also some of those question words. So when is your friend? Where is your friend? That would make sense. But I don't think... And they're wanting to know where because all I see is someone in the question um, right here is with a question mark like, hmm, I wonder who is your friend? Who is your friend? And then here's a name. She is Jane or she has black hair or she is 25. So who black hair does not tell me who my friend is. She is 25 does not tell me who my friend is, but she is Jane does. So I would choose that. She is Jane. Okay, so you can just continue with that. Back to games and look at a few more. That was fast English. Or I'm sorry, that was questions. We already did fast English. Um, Fast phrases, job games, vocabulary game. This is a concentration where you flip over two cards to try to match an image and a word. Weather. 
I really like Big Describer because it helps um, students look at two items in the image and compare them. Um, let's see, we're going to do start and let's do food. We all like food. Okay, this is a kind of burger. So I would look at all these pictures and I know that this is a hamburger, but it has cheese on it. So that's a cheeseburger. That's a kind of burger. So I'm going to choose that one. Cheeseburger. And I got that right and got a score of 10. Um, you can put beef in these to make hamburgers. So what would you put the hamburger beef in to make the hamburger? Um, probably ice cream. No. So that show me a big circle. So probably, I think this is rolls. Bread roll. Yes. So I got that correct. Um, a long green leafy vegetable. This item is green. This item is green. The soup might be made of green leafy vegetables, but they want just a leafy vegetable and that would be the celery. Celery. So you can continue with that. Okay, let's go back to look at some other games. Um, that one is Big Describer. Now we're going to look at comparing. All right, so let's look at these images. So we're going to start compare. And this says an elephant is bigger than a mouse. So your child could read that or you could read it to them. And here we have an elephant and here we have a mouse. So the elephant is bigger than the mouse. That's an example. And so we're going to hit play. And now we have to choose the correct word that would compare these two. Dangerous? No. Big? Yes, we think that would be fast. Uh, it could be um, slow, dirty, beautiful, or small. So I'm going to choose big. An elephant is blank than a mouse. An elephant is blank than a mouse. Is the ele elephant bigger than a mouse, more big than a mouse, or big than a mouse? So it's good to put those each, try each one of those choices so that you can read it and see if that makes sense as you're listening. So I'm going to choose bigger. The elephant is bigger than a mouse. Bigger than a mouse. Okay, so now we're comparing the size of um, the whale to the fish. So, or the fish to the whale, I should say. So this fish, I know, is small, and that whale is big. So I'm going to choose small. Fish are. So fish are more small than whales, are smaller than whales, or are more smaller than whales. So you don't have to use more with the word small. So we would choose small and it's added the E-R um, to the end and that would be smaller small. than whales. Okay, now I remember this story, the tortoise and the hare. So you can see motion here. That's what these little lines mean. So we've got the turtle is going slow. The rabbit is going fast. I'm comparing the turtle to the rabbit. The turtle is slow. Turtles are. So turtles are something than rabbits. Are they slower than rabbits? Are they slowing than rabbits? Or are they more slow than rabbits? So I'm going to I'm going to choose the wrong answer. I'm going to choose more slow. And so it shows up in red and it deletes that choice. So now I have to go back and choose either slower or slowing. So I'm going to choose slower. Slower than rabbits. Okay. So you can just continue with that. So let's go back to games. That was the comparison game. Let's go down here and show you. That was this one, the compare game. Here is a time game. If your um, child is having difficulty telling time or reading the times or giving the different versions of time. And here we have a spelling bee. This is a really um, good activity. If your child is having difficulty spelling words, let's try the hard one. All right, and let's try items in our home. Window. So window. So 
it will read it to us. It gave us um, this blank, so we're going to try to spell it W I N D O W window. And so I got it right. Table. All right, let's spell table wrong. T A B instead of L E, let's put E L. Okay, when I tried the E, it, it came up red, so Blank. I had to check that. Um, go back and choose another letter, and so I chose L. So that's spelling. Lots of different categories to practice spelling. We had chose items in the home. Okay, we have a concentration game, you know, where you ch um, match a word to a picture or image. Here's food, falling clouds, um, you move the clouds to make a sentence, so you're kind of putting them in the correct order. Perfect tense, that's where your, your um, nouns and your verbs have to match to make sense. Um, so, she has eaten lunch, she has eaten dinner, as an example there. Speak easy, this is a speaking practice, say the vocabulary items. So, let's look at this one. Okay, it only works with Chrome browser. Hello. Okay, so it so we're gonna start. I think we'll choose colors. Orange. Yellow. Black. Purple. Okay, so it showed the word purple and red. So that means I got that incorrectly. This is green. Purple. Okay, um, so we're going to go back here and look at this icon again. So that was speak easy. So this is a great um, choice for a game because your child will have to speak when they take their assessment um, in January. Well, we've passed that. We've just finished it. But in January, we take the access assessment. And speaking is one of the things that we're working on. So they can speak vocabulary words. This one is they speak phrases. But um, as it showed, you have to have Chrome um, in order to use that. Clothing, monster numbers is really good for students to look at the numeral and then match it to the written number word. We have future tense, like going to. So um, tonight I am going to eat a hamburger. Um, so you have to match the words and the pictures to make a sentence that makes sense with using going to. Let's look at fast vocabulary. All right, we're going to start this one. And let's do, let's do transportation. Okay, so this is a drop, I'm sorry, this is a drag and drop activity. So we have a picture of a skateboard, a motorcycle, and um, a train. So our job is to click on this item and drag it to the correct word. So this is a skateboard, so I would drag it to the word skateboard. skateboard. The same with the motor, they call it a motorbike, and that's motorbike. another right word for motorcycle and train. Train. So got those right. So now we have a limo, which is short for limousine, a tractor, and a van. So limo, is the same as a limousine. Limo. This would be a tractor. Tractor. And this would be a van. Van. Okay, this time I'm going to show you what happens when you try to drag it to the incorrect word. So we have a bus, a truck, a boat, and a bike. And sometimes we call it a bicycle or a bike. So I'm going to take the bus. It starts with a B. So I've got three choices with B. So I think I'm going to put it here 
on this word, even though I know it's bike, I'm just showing you how this works. It will not let me place that there. So it gives me a red ring around the word and puts a red X in this box. You can see that there's 80 questions on this one. And here is my score. Um, I know that that's bus and that goes right, whoops, right here. <laughs> we get it over there. There we go. Yes. So those are called um, technology enhanced questions when students have to dra drag and drop. All right, back to our games. Okay, that was called fast vocab. And vocab is short for vocabulary. Um, conditional sentences um, is where you have to make the sentence match the situation. So let's look at one of these. If the sun is bright. If the sun is bright, what would go with that? So would you make something, then a kite, fly, wear, then a snowman, sunglasses, or then? If the sun is bright, so I have to have three words. Then. Then. Wear. Where, Sunglass. Sunglasses. If it snows. Then, so these are if then sentences. So again, I have to have three words, and we know that that first one's going to be then. If this, then that. If it snows, then, then make, make a, snowman. a snowman. If it is windy, if it is windy, then, then fly. fly. A kite. a kite. So it gives us um, if you drop a ball. The scenario we look at the picture. So if and so we always know this word's probably going to be then, and then our verb. What is it doing? And um, then a noun. So if you drop a ball, then. then. Uh, let's see. It will, it will bounce. bounce. Okay, so if I made you lift weights. Right. Sorry about that. Let's go back to our games. Got a lot of noise in the background here. All right, let's go down to, um, that was conditional sentences. Let's look at bubbles. And this will be the last one we view. There's several others there for you to choose. So this time, let's do, we've done if and then, we've done comparison, we've done his and her. Um, let's do positions. Those are prepositions. Positions are like prepositions, on, over, under. Okay, so we have to make a sentence. It's giving us the answer here, showing us how. So where are these keys? The, the keys are under, under the, the chair. chair. That is correct. So now it's eliminated those words. Now, where is this fan? So we're going to start it with the, the fan, fan is, and I've got these words left, next, next to, to the, the bookcase. bookcase. Okay, so you're going to use the words that are in those bubbles to create a sentence that describes the position of the item where the arrow is. Okay, and we'll go back to the games page. Um, I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom. I'll try not to go too fast. I'll make your eyes get all crazy here. Um, you also have animal mystery, which is questions about get trying to guess an animal and then hangman if you've ever placed played that game it's where you try to spell out a hidden word and and um it marks off parts of, of a, a man's body until he, he gets hung if if he doesn't spell the word right so those are things that you can do at home with your child to help them reach english proficiency um some of them are a little bit more difficult for uh younger students and they some may be very um 
too young for older students. So you just have to kind of go in there and play with them yourself and choose the ones that are best for your children. I hope that you found um, this website useful and I would ask that you um, visit the site. It's games to learn English.com. Try some of these with your children. And then if you don't mind, complete the Google form to let me know what you thought about the website and um, what your child thought about that. I really appreciate you joining me. Again, my name is Tamala Buttry and I am the English Learner Director for the Round County Schools. If you have any questions about um, games to learn English or your child's services for English learners um, or just the English learner program, don't hesitate to reach out to me. You can email back to the address um, for on this email, tamala.buttry at rowan.kyschools.us or you can call the Board of Education, which is where my office is. Um, the number here is 606-784-8928. Again, thank you, and I hope you have a wonderful day.